Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to introduce to you your student speaker, Aleda Bogdansky. Thank you, Dr. Ludi, for your thoughtful words. It's been a privilege to learn from you. President Lieberman, Provost Reed, Trustee Dyer, Dean Whitesmith, faculty, family, friends, uh, 2018 graduates. <laughs> uh, I've been told not to keep you long. I've also been told that there's a real world out there waiting for us. Uh, you may have heard, it's that place where our data means nothing, where all the theories and concepts we read in our overpriced textbooks uh, don't apply, where alternative facts now hold equal value to any lecture we've attended. That real world where our immigration status can keep us from our dreams, where who and how we choose to love can limit our access to civil rights, where something as mundane as the water we drink or as innate as the color of our skin or even simply showing up to class can still cost us our lives. There are many out there who don't believe we've been living in this real world. They subscribe to the notion that what we've learned in school can't tell us anything about the human condition, that uh, the events, stresses, and challenges of this world somehow haven't affected us, that we've been living in a bubble, inoculated from experience. But our education has not blinded us from reality. In fact, it's given us clarity, the courage to think critically, challenge our assumptions, reject fallacy, and strive for something greater than we ever thought we were capable. Wherever we came from, and whatever it took to get here, we are now part of a new minority. Less than one in three Americans stand where we are today, and if we're postgraduate, it's one in 10. We've accomplished something very few can claim, yet we're still mothers, <laughs> grandparents, service members, cancer survivors, and widows. Our student status didn't change our skin color, our heritage, our sexual orientation, our living conditions, or our commitment to family and community. We are the definition of hard work and sacrifice. Those who say we don't understand the real world have allowed themselves to be defined by it. But I'm here to tell you that we hold the power to redefine the world. Yes. Our education is a privilege and it comes with an obligation that too many disregard. It's the responsibility of each person here to use the power we have and the knowledge we've gained to change this world into a place where humanity is the only prerequisite for basic human rights. Thank you. And where education isn't seen as the problem, but the solution. Today, we leave this campus changed people, thoroughly prepared and uniquely qualified to take action and inspire change in others. But now, more than ever, we must remember that learning is not an event but a journey. Never forget what it took to get here and let that empower you to never stop learning because when we allow research to guide our practice, we are set apart. We not only see the world as it is, but how it can be. And in doing so, we pave a brighter path for those around us. Thank you.